morning, Traniacs. Today, we start transitioning all that raw, greasy fast gorilla power that we built in the off season with the heavy hex bar deadlifts into actual triathlon sport power. I think it might hurt. So I wanna say that it was last week that I talked about muscle tension sets on the bike. And that is where you're doing low cadence, not really worrying about power. <sighs> My gear work is a killer. But activating a ton of muscle groups by really increasing the resistance. And that is how you translate a bunch of the power that you build in the off season with weight lifting and heavy weights into actual bike power. And it doesn't just end there because a lot of people then say, hey, now that the heavy hex bar deadlift routine that you can download by going to triathlonterran.com forward slash strength routine, now that's over, are you done strength training? What about strength training? How do you strength train for triathlon? We've got to do some work that is similar to that, but not so far away that it's like, totally miles apart and we're losing all of that power while at the same time not transferring it to these. Let me explain this better. All right, so strength, triathlon, maybe miles apart you might think, but strength training is a critical aspect to triathlon. Strength training teaches more muscle groups to fire. It also teaches your body to fire more efficiently. It activates muscle groups that we don't activate just doing running, cycling, and swimming, which are so repetitive that huge chunks of our body structure are not used, and essentially just atrophy, potentially leading to injury and underperformance. So we strength train. A long way away from the season, you wanna do really, really heavy stuff to activate as many muscle fibers as possible. But the key is to take that raw power and just kind of start edging it slowly more and more towards discipline specific strength. But then on the strength training side, it doesn't go away. It just needs to change. So let me do this and then I'll show you how I'm going to change that strength training in a bit. All right. This is not uh, strength work or an interpretive dance. This is rehab work. Ooh. Oh. Strength work in a second, okay. Okay, let's do this. So for the past, say, three and a half months, I've been doing really heavy hex bar deadlifts, as I've probably said about five times just today. I've also had people like Brian McKenzie, who is one of the founders of CrossFit Endurance on the Triathlon Terran podcast. And all the weightlifters out there are like, yeah, 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 I knew it. We got to lift heavy weights to do triathlon. Well, that's not quite right. There's a time and a place for heavy weights and that time and the place has come and gone. So a good time and a place for that is in that span of the off season where you're a long way away from triathlon season because heavy weights just knocks the stuffing out of your body. And when you start getting close to say three to four months from your next race, you're going to have to start putting a ton of effort into race specific swim, bike, run training, and then adding on really heavy weights on top of that is almost just more than most people's bodies can handle. Just the two heavy strength workouts a week that I was doing was enough to basically force me to knock down by almost 50% all other swim, bike, run training. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be strength training year round. Here's what we're doing at this point in the season. So I want you to think about your cadence with your legs, just cycling or running. We're talking about an RPM of somewhere around 180 strides or revolutions per minute. However, when you're doing really heavy strength work, you're looking at like every single rep might take three to four seconds each. 
And so you're not really matching the strength that you're building with that really heavy work to what you're actually gonna be doing in a race. So at this time, we start doing movements that are really, really quick, lighter weights, higher reps, explosive, boom, 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 boom. We wanna build the ability for our body to move strongly, still continue with that strength, hold on to those neuromuscular connections that we built with the heavy strength work, but transition it over to moving quickly as well. Here is what Coach Pat has given me as an example of the type of movements that you're gonna be doing. Barbell cleans and presses, box jump, wobble board rotation, pull-ups, lat pull-downs, single leg squats, push-ups, banded skate jumps, ball hamstrings, kettlebell swings, medicine ball volley throws, TRX hanging rows, stretch cord swim pulls, Nordic hamstrings, and ball rollouts. So we'll talk about all of those in another video. And actually, you know what? Hit the like button below if you want me to create a list of this part of the season's strength workouts, like a download that I did just similar to that big strength workout download. And if a lot of people like that, maybe I'll do that. But in the meantime, just know that now is the time that you need to be working on more twitchy movements instead of that raw strength, just that insane brute force. We'll get into the rest in another time if you like this video and I get indications that we should continue to talk about it, all right? Okay, now I have to go and do some of these workouts and uh, get the videos for it, okay? Later, Trainiacs.